So maybe you are someone that is completely new to cybersecurity, uh, or maybe you have been working in the field for a while and you're looking to take your skill set to the next level. You're ready to get a certification. Uh, but the question is, you know, there's so many different certs out there. Obviously, we hear a lot about OSCP, but there's also a number of other ones. You know, which certification is right for you, right? Which one should you actually start out with? Should you even start with OSCP? Or maybe there's something that's better for you. I'm going to be covering the top certifications that I would recommend in 2021 in this video. So stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan from Elevate Cyber. Let's crack right into this topic. Um, I've been doing tons of research on certifications uh, recently and really trying to figure out what is the most optimal one uh, to get. And especially if I were to start all over from scratch, which one would I get, right? Now, my opinion has changed a bit over time on this topic as I've gotten more data, a lot more information uh, and have listened to a lot of other content creators as well uh, in this space and people that are out there doing it. Now, I will say the interesting thing about cybersecurity when you compare it to any other field out there is out of pretty much anyone that I can think of, cybersecurity is what I would say has like the most non... There is no standard path, right? There is no de facto standard path to getting into this field. You... Like if you talk to 15 different cybersecurity professionals and ask them about their backstory and how they got into doing what they do today, I almost guarantee you would get 15 different answers. And so really when you when you take that into account, you when you're looking at certifications, you need to decide, you know, where are you at? Like what background do you have? What credentials do you have uh, on your side already? And then that can help you determine you know, which certification is right for you. Now, uh, this topic is definitely a bit subjective. Different people have different opinions when it comes to certifications. Some people very uh, are very adamant about uh, and very outspoken about uh, hating certain certifications out there, right? And, you know, one tried and true is OSCP. Uh, I, I always go back to this. I mean, there's a reason why so much of my content on this channel uh, covers this certification because it's so relevant. Uh, I will say that OSCP is the standard and uh, you will not, if you want to be a pen tester, you will not go wrong with OSCP. Uh, you know, in the past, the biggest gripe that people have had with it is that it was a bit, the material was a bit outdated. The methodology was great, but what you actually are playing around with is very outdated. And from experience, I can say that uh, having gone through the old labs, it was really outdated. But you know what? I've done a lot of research since then. You know, obviously they overhauled their course last year in 2020. And one bit of uh, feedback that I've gotten about is that things are a lot more up to date now. There's a lot more active directory uh, in there as well. And so from a practical standpoint, right, if you, you can stack the only other certification that can measure up from a practical standpoint would be uh, the e-learn certifications like uh, their equivalent to OSCP, which I believe is ECCPT. Uh, that one, you know, it stacks up on a technical standpoint, but there's more than just the what you learn from it, right? There's also the employment aspect of it. That is a very important piece to the puzzle, if you will. And so with that being said, OSCP also knocks it out of the park when it comes to employment. It is the most searched for term when uh, you look at these pen testing jobs, red teaming, pen testing, anything on the offensive side of security. Uh, it is absolutely uh, of extreme value if you can get it. Now, with that being said, a lot of you are, you probably know about OSCP, right? You already... It's something that you already know about. Obviously, if you watch my channel, there's no way you haven't heard of it, right? And so for a lot of people, you're probably just a bit intimidated by it because, you know, it has that notoriety of being an extremely difficult certification to get. And uh, with that being said, although it is difficult, I will say this, being someone that's worked in the field for the last, you know, five years now, what I can say is that even though it is very difficult, I know a number of people that have gotten the certification from various levels of skill going into it, right? I've seen people that uh, were very advanced pen testers that have failed it 
uh, and eventually got it through their hard work and persistence. And I have seen uh, many people that were pretty much brand new to pen testing going into OSCP. And while they didn't pass it on their first attempt, they stuck with it and they got it. So don't think that because you are not an expert level pen tester uh, that you can't get the certification. It's all about practice and having the right mindset, which is definitely something we cover on this channel. And I will say, if you're watching my channel, you are the type of person that can get this, right? Because it really, you know, people that have this mindset, and if you're drawn to this type of content, then even if you don't have the mindset right now, you're working your way towards getting that. And honestly, what you work towards, what you put effort towards is what you become. So you, if you're watching this content and it's resonating with you, you are, you have what it takes to get the certification. You just got to stick with it, trust the process and make it happen. Now, of course, this video is all about certification. So we'd have to definitely mention some of these other ones as well. Now, I, this is where it gets to be a bit of a mixed topic, right? Some people would recommend, uh, the ethical hacker, certified ethical hacker, CEH and Pentest Plus and, and you know, the e-learn certs and stuff like that. I will say, here's my take on it, right? I've done a lot of research on this and I will say that there's only one like demographic that I could really advise this to. If you want to be a pen tester, here's the thing, right? Let's, let's just get right down to it. If you want to be a pen tester, or a red team, or if you want to work in offensive security on the technical side of the house, like you don't want to be like some manager, do policy stuff. You want to be hands-on and doing the actual attacks, carrying out these attacks that these hackers would carry out. You want to be emulating the adversary or, you know, pen testing, any of this stuff that's super hands-on, you need OSCP. Forget about the, the, pen, uh, the pen test plus, that's not going to help you. Forget about the CEH, that's not going to help you. The thing about CEH uh, you know, even though I, in the past I have said, yeah, you know, it is, and I stand by this statement still, it is a very popular HR certification. And especially depending on where you want to work, if it's like a government, like DOD or something like that, you might be required even to get the CEH, but, uh, it's just not worth your time and your money. Like looking into it a little bit more, the CEH costs about as much, if not more than the OSCP. And even though it is an easy exam, you're still going to have to study for it. And I've known people that are experienced that have failed like pen test plus and stuff like that. It's just not worth your time, not worth your effort. That time and effort is way better spent in a certification that not only is going to certify you, but it's going to teach you a really solid methodology and what you need to know to succeed in this field. And that is the OSCP, right? And so really, if you were looking to get into more of the management side and you're not a super technical person, then okay, yeah, maybe this the CEH makes sense for you. Even still, there's better certifications, right? Why try to certify yourself as an ethical hacker if you're not even looking to go into a hacking profession, right? Honestly, I think a lot of people that get certifications like CEH and Pentest Plus, if I'm to be completely honest with you, I feel like, unless they already have OSCP and they just get certs for fun, let's say someone that doesn't have OSCP, they're in a pen test role and they're just going for certs like CEH and uh, Security Plus and stuff like that, or yeah, pen test plus or whatever. Honestly, a lot of those people are not as motivated as you are if you're watching this video and they're kind of settling. They're setting, they're setting the bar low because they're afraid to fail, if I'm being completely honest. The reason that most people don't go for OSCP or maybe they, you know, they don't stick to it, they don't persist is because they're afraid of failure. They're afraid to fail. And so they, in order to avoid that painful feeling of failure, they set the bar lower and they just try to get something basic because they don't believe in themselves and they don't believe in the process. And uh, that's not you. If you're watching this video, I have full faith in you that you can get this certification. Like I said, many people, I've known many people that are not ultra elite hackers have gotten the certification. People that have just learned pen testing pretty much, and maybe they've done a little bit of CTFs on their own. With that being said, prepare for the OSCP before you just jump right into it. Like, you know, take, you know, root, root like 20 boxes on the offset proving rounds or so, right? You know, do a little bit of uh, try hack me and stuff like that, most certainly. But at the same time, do not be one of those people. And I can't harp on this enough. Do not be one of those people that 
you never feel like you're ready and you never get started and you're like well once i do this once i once this star aligns and that star aligns then i'll take action then i'll start on it no go into it dive into it view your first attempt at the exam as a practice run was one of the pieces of advice that i had gotten and you know i think that's great advice you know just go in there try and uh you know try harder as they say so uh but there's no situation going back to it. There's no situation where I could really advise any of you guys to get the security plus or the, uh, pen test plus CEH, whatever. There really just is not, uh, because if you, if you set the bar appropriately and it's not even, it's not even too much of a stretch. Keep in mind, the OSCP is designed to be a beginner's course as daunting as that seems. It's designed to be entry level, entry level pen testing, right? They have more advanced certifications like the OSCE, which is the expert level course and stuff like that. With that being said, this field, the reason that, that OSCP is so difficult, yet it's the beginner level course is because pen testing is difficult. Pen testing is hard. Pen testing is not like a purely entry level thing. So just accept that it's going to be hard and uh, go after it. You know, now one, uh, one other thing that I'd like to say is that it kind of depends on your background, right? Like I had a, uh, I went to school for uh, security and risk analysis at Penn State. So I had that security degree. So because of that, I didn't need the OSCP in order to get into this field, right? So if, if you're coming from a background like that, or maybe computer science or something like that, maybe you don't even need a certification at all to get into this field. I didn't have any certs when I came into the field. And so you can get the OSCP down the line, but just start applying jobs. Honestly, if you've done a little, a bit of CTFs and have like an understanding of how to use different tools, you could interview well, go right on into it. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's what I would say on that matter. If you don't have that security background in any way, then OSCP is going to be the way to go. Don't waste your time with these other certifications. That would be my advice. Just go for OSCP, be in it for the long haul, be prepared to fail and try again and persist until you pass. So hopefully this video was of help to you guys. And along the lines of getting your OSCP, check out the link in the description below to get my OSCP notes absolutely for free over five years of, uh, of culmination there. And, uh, you know, if you want to keep leveling up and get your OSCP, definitely go ahead and check out the uh, playlist that I'll link right there on uh, what you need to know for OSCP. So I will see you right over there. Thanks for watching.